Hey, it's Craig Thompson, inventor of the Strength Axle System and Strength Axle 3D. So we're going to talk about a few things today. First, I'm going to give an update of Strength Axle World, where we're at, what's going on. We're going to talk about some 3D training, explain 3D training, the theory behind it. And we're also going to take a closer look at the commercial unit, which is the one I use. Um, so first, I get a lot of emails. People have uh, tried these and they want to buy them. There's a lot of them out there. Um, it is a great product. Um, unfortunately, the wheel company was a custom wheel. They got bought out, and I kind of lost access to these uh, wheels. So that that's no longer in production for that reason. Um, but the good news is we have something I think is better. Um, so this is Strength Axle System. Now I call it 2D because it's you know forward, back, up, down, but you don't have the side to side. So it's a two-dimensional version, great piece of equipment, great for core stabilization challenge, fantastic, you know, movie stars, Olympic swimmers, love them. Anyway, so that is not in production and that's the reason why. So this is what is in production, Strength Axle 3D, and I, I'd really, if you say, oh no, I really want this one, I'd like you to go to my Instagram, Strength Axle 3D, and look at a picture of me using this and look at my arms using this from maybe two years ago and then look at a more recent picture and look at my arms using after I've used this for a year just look at my arms and that'll tell the whole story why this is better um, so the second part of the video is going to be talking about 3D training theory behind it okay so what kind of training is out there barbell training what is it you're um, overcoming the force of gravity on the weights so it's the gravity straight down. It's one dimensional, you know, pretty basic. It's not interesting to me that much. Um, so that's 1D training. What else do you have? Kettlebells. Um, you have also gravity working and you're doing swings and things like that. So you have some centrifugal force in play. So perhaps you'd call that 2D training with the gravity and the centrifugal force. Now, the theory behind this is you have it's going side to side, it's going front and back, it's going up and down. You have three-dimensional force vectors at play when you're operating this, when you're controlling this, when you're fighting this, when it's fighting you. Three-dimensional force vectors. As if you had a wrestling opponent, you wouldn't know what force vectors you would have to deal with. It certainly wouldn't be just gravity. Definitely not. And it wouldn't be gravity and just some centrifugal force. It would be three-dimensional. That wrestling opponent would be a three-dimensional challenge. You wouldn't would be able to predict which force vectors you'd have to deal with and how many at the same time. So th th that's the theory behind this. Three-dimensional force vectors training you for the real world. You don't know what you're going to have to deal with out there. So that's the second part of the video. The third part, let's just take a look at the commercial unit. So people... I think people get a little confused. They think, oh, it's an ab wheel. Well, and then they think it's small. Well, this is 18 inch diameter. People always say, oh, it's big. It's bigger than I thought. It's bigger. Yeah, it's big. So it's actually 18 inches. And this wheel is very high quality. It's made in Taiwan, which I love. Good ally of America. And uh, let's see if you can see the uh, max load. 1,650 pounds ought to do it. We have thick stainless steel under here we got thick stainless steel thicker than I've used before and then it's double welded to the plate front and back of the plate so these things are very very robust this is stronger than anything I've ever made before um, definitely probably by far so the handles never had a problem with the handles the handles can be removed and replaced if needed the mechanism can come off if the tire needs service of course it should be stored indoors and uh, should last you a really long time. You store it indoors and take care of it. So, and then the foot plate for the commercial, basically you try to double up everything. So the plate is doubled, the footholds are doubled, and uh, you've got capacity of about 600 pounds on the three wheels. So in total, you're looking at about 2,200 pound capacity for the commercial 3D system. So. That's about all I have to say. Um, you know, Strength Axle 3D on Instagram. Uh, StrengthAxle3D.com is where you would buy a unit such as this. 
and um, put up some testimonials from some very credible people. James Furlow's got some videos featuring this coming out. Um, but check out the testimonials. Laniel Mitchell, um, doctor of physical therapy, very credible guy, um, saying some nice things about it. But anyway, that's it from Strength Axle Land. That's the update. And, um, you know, I answer all emails. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks from Craig.